name is Kendrew Lascelles. <laughs> Once upon a time, in the land of Hashemah, around about the wondrous days of yore, they came across a kind of box bound up in chains and locked with locks and labeled, Kindly do not touch. It's war. A decree was issued round about all with a flourish and a shout and a gaily colored mascot tripping lightly on before. Don't fiddle with this deadly box or break the chains or pick the locks and please, don't ever play about with war. <coughs> well, the children understood. Children happen to be good and were just as good in the wondrous days of yore. They didn't try to pick the locks or break into that deadly box, and they never tried to play about with war. But someone did. Someone battered in the lid and spilled the insides out across the floor, a kind of bouncy, bumpy ball made up of guns and flags and all of the horror and the death that goes with war, it bounced right out and went bashing all about, running into everything in store. And what was sad and most unfair is that it really did not seem to care much who it bumped or why or where or for. It bumps the children mainly. And I'll tell you this quite plainly, it bumps them every day and more and more and leaves them hurt and, and sick and crying, thousands of them, dead or, or dying. Because where it bumps, it's very, very sore. There is a way to stop this ball. It isn't very hard at all. All it takes is wisdom. And I'm absolutely sure that we can get it back into the box and bind those chains and lock those locks. But no one seems to want to save the children anymore. Well, that's the way it all appears, because it's been bouncing around for years and years in spite of all that wisdom whizzed since those wondrous days of yore. Those days where they, they came across a kind of box, bound up with chains and locked with locks and labeled. Kindly do not touch. It's a war. Mm -hmm.